Hello everybody and back again on in Frankie's IoT Garage. I am Frank. And my name is Dave. Today we have this very beautiful and very special coffee maker machine here. And we'll retrofit it for IoT. So stay tuned. So, you want to tell me that this 50 bucks coffee maker will uh, be able to fit with IoT? Yes, ready to, uh, to talk IoT. And you made it in three days, I heard? Yes, in three days. So, tell me. Okay, so you have to open it. <coughs> So you see the PCB, this is new, this one here, yeah. with a blue LED, there's a Wi-Fi chip on <coughs> and all necessary elements um, to connect the electronics, the, the existing electronic from the coffee machine um, that we can get information and also send information, this means... So you made a... Mm like a prototype be, be careful board? it's high power oh, okay <laughs> this, is, this is a prototyping <coughs> um, to combine the existing electronic with uh, uh, the cloud components all right and you made this in three days what was the difficult about it the difficult is uh, the difficulty was uh, that we have no schematics from the existing electronics mm -hmm. so we have to look deep into what's happened over there what is this processor used uh, the, the circuit uh, on it uh, identified <coughs> and we go deep in in, uh, in uh, this board to find out how we can connect what do you mean by deep in the board <laughs> This means um, measured uh, many points uh, to look what information we can get from what point. Mm -hmm. So you want to understand like the language of the coffee machine? Yes, uh, similar to, yeah. All right. But now it's uh, nearly finished, not 100%, but 90%. Um, we have to do something more with the firmware, but uh, I can show you the result, uh, what we can do now. Yeah. So first of all is the coffee maker is also talking MQTT, which is the most important. Um, MQTT over Wi-Fi. And as a result, we can see in our app that we can control the coffee maker. First of all, we switch it on. Oh yeah, uh, the light goes on. Okay. The so second is because it's in standby now. <coughs> we need a cup? Yes. Second is, you hear it? You see the lights over here? Oh, yeah. And you see the lights here. So this means it's in standby and heating. And when we want to have a coffee, just press the button. And you see, something's happened. Huh? Yeah. Some boiled water. Because there's no... Yeah, there's no coffee put in. So this is uh, the app for the user. Uh, you can, uh, in the morning when you wake up, you can start the coffee machine. When it comes down, it's nearly finished. But uh, the main point is, uh, we collect a lot of data in the background. So you mean we can record all the information, but um, what kind of information can we have a look at the data? Yes, yeah, so you can see here, uh, for example, power is on, the state is standby. When we switch it here, <coughs> we get the message wake up. Ah, okay. Uh, and uh, also, if, if we use it local or remote over the app, we get information how many times the user press the button. Uh, if how I many uh, coffee you drink and how many times you are cleaning it? Yeah, for example, you see here, we see the message start pumping. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the machine is finished, it tell us what button is pressed. What kind of coffee? 
Yes, for Scandinavian coffee because oh. we have three here: Ristetto, Espresso, and Lungo. Well, you see, the Ristetto is finished. Ah, a Ristretto, yeah. Very nice, very nice. And also, but what? Uh, it's a nice, nice feature, yeah. When you are out of bed and you want the coffee, yeah, very nice. But what's the big point with that? What is the possibility? The big point is that the retail have a direct connection to the customer via the app. The and retailer. The retailer. Yeah. Ah, you can get the, the retailer data, who, yeah. who sells the coffee pets has a possibility to um, order that the, that the customer can order the pets online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the retailer knows the cons uh, consumption of, of the coffee and makes some order offers. Ah, uh, okay. maybe like a push uh, message and then comes like your coffee pads are nearly finished. Yes, and uh, uh, <coughs> what's the service messages? Please clean up your machine. It's a long time not cleaned. But uh, <coughs> the, the access direct from the retail to customer via the app this is uh, the most important things. Mm -hmm. Very interesting point. And uh, what do you think? Which, uh, how, how long will it take to have this on the market, on, uh, on a really uh, major base? Yes, at first this is only a prototype. This is only for us. But uh, if we start build up the release, it can, can, come, back, uh, can come very soon. Maybe six months we are finished. And so when we have this combination with the coffee pad from the retailer, so maybe uh, this coffee machine would not be very expensive, wouldn't it? Could it, could it be a um, really cheap price? Yes, <coughs> the, the, the pricing of the components, what we build in, is also very cheap. Okay. So it's a low level uh, entry for IoT. Okay. <clears throat> it's uh, really exciting what you do with the, just in a few days and uh, how you refit all this uh, stuff. If anyone has, an, um, has a question about that, just leave a comment uh, or write an email and we'll go on um, in further uh, episodes and have a q and I think. Yes, we can do it. And also uh, remember, we want to make an episode uh, especially over MQTT also. Okay, so we go, then we go deep into MQTT. Right. Okay, great. So, um, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Frank. My name is Dave. See you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye.